back again we are doing um this is the part two of the of our question three yes this is the part two of our question three we are doing the 3.2 which is the weighted average cost method so we are going to be doing the average cost as we are required to do it so without any further ado we are going to start with our question so on the 1st of September we had stock on hand of 34 units at 20 rents. It's 34 units at 20 rents. So on the 1st of September we had 34 units on hand. 34 units at 20 is it 24 rents at 20 rents, yes. 34 units at 20 rents. So the amount is going to be 34 times 20 rents. It's 680. So the total is going to be the 680 as it is. On the second, on the 7th of September, we purchased 48 units at 22 rents. So Whenever we are doing the weighted average cost method, you must know this. Whenever we are purchasing stock, the price, the price that we use, the price on the balance on hand will always change. I'll show you how. On the seventh, we purchased. On the seventh, we purchased forty. 8 units at 22 rands. 48 units, 48 units at 22 rands. At 22 rands. So we are going to say equals to sign in. 48 units at 22, you know, times 22, yes. It's 1056 rand. 1056 rent. Let me just fix. Uh -huh. It's 1056 rent. So, usually when we do first thing first out, we record the balance on hand, which is the 34 units at 20 rents, and then we record the 48 units that we have just bought under the the old uh, stock that we have as a business so when we are doing weighted average method the price of our stock we it's going to change so in the formula of calculating the new price we are going to say the total value of stock which is um, the amount of the value of the stock is yes, over the number of units produced or bought or units that we have on hand so we are going to say to calculate the new price let me do a calculation on the side here we are going to say the value of stock we are going to say the value of stock which is um which is the the 680 plus plus the 1056 rents divide by divide by the number of units which is the 34 units plus 48 units 34 units 34 units 34 units plus um plus 48 units should be giving us the new price rounding off rounding this off we are going to round it off to two to, to two decimal places let me check where are we it didn't tell us where to round it off so we are going to round it off to two decimal places to two decimal places uh -huh. So we are going to say 34 plus 48 units, 34 plus 48 units, it's 
82 units. We are going to have 82 units on hand. 82 units on hand with the new price, which is the new price. It's our new price. It's 21 rands. 21. Comma one seven. Aha. It's twenty one comma one seven. So on our amount we are going to say on our amount we are going to say eighty two times the twenty one rents, yes, times the twenty one rents, which is going to be it's eighty two rents, eighty two uh, eighty two units times the 21 rents which is giving us 1,070 1,722 rents moving forward so here's what I've just realized we are not going to use this total column because the amounts that we calculate here already they already represent the total of the amounts that we are going that we are going to get here uh -huh. so on the 14th, we sold 29 units at 40 rents. We sold 29 units. So we are going to say 29 units. 29 units. On the 14th. 14. We are going to say 29 units. 29 and 29. We are going to use the new price to sell the, the stock. So... It's twenty one comma one seven. It's twenty one comma one seven. So we are going to say equals to sign here. Twenty twenty nine units. Twenty nine units. It's going to be twenty nine units times um twenty one comma one seven going to be 613,93 613,93 so on our balance on hand we have to take out the 29 units because we have sold it we are going to say 82 82 minus 29 it's 53 units 53 units which is going to be at the 21 rent comma 17 going to be the 21 comma 17 so on our amount we are going to say 53 times the 21 comma 70 it's giving us 1122 rents and one cent <coughs> On the 19th, we sold 22 units at 41 rands. As I've said, whenever we are selling um, our stock, we don't use the given amounts. Always, we don't use these given amounts. Uh. So it's going to be on the 19th of September. We sold um, how many units? At we sold 22 units. Yes, it's 22 units, 22. So we are going to say 22 units at the 21,17. The 21,17 is going to be 22 units times the 21,17, which is giving us 465 francs, 0.74 cents. So we to the balance on for the balance on end we are going to see the 53 units minus the 22 units which is giving us the giving us 31 units at 21 rents at 21 rents comma one seven at 21 rents comma one seven aha and then it's going to it's going to be 31 comma times times twenty one comma one seven so whenever we are do, we are doing weighted average 
um, method, you must know that the price only changes when we purchase new stock. The prices only change when we purchase new stock. So on the, 20, on the 22nd of September, we purchased 42 units at 24 rents. Yes, we purchased 24 units at 24 rents. On the 20, is it 20, 22nd, yes, we purchased 42 units at 24 rents. So we are going to see 42 units. 42 units, 824 rands, is it 24, 24, 24, yes it is 24, we purchased new units at 24 rands, 42, 42 times, times 24 is giving us 1008 rands, 1008 rands. So as I've said before, is um, when we calculate the new price, it's total value of stock divided by the number of units that we have. Total num total number of units yes. So we are going to calculate it on the side here. We are going to say equals to sign open brackets. Um, the total value which is the 656,27 plus this value here 1008 rands close brackets divide by by the total units which is the 42 42 42 units the 42 units 42 42 uh -huh, and then plus the 31 units plus the 31 units which is then going to give us the 22 rand 22 rand um comma seven seven nine which is when we are rounding it off it's going to be twenty two comma eight zero yes it's going to be twenty two comma eight zero what is this now? What is this? Let me close this. Uh -huh. It's going to be 22,80. So 31, 31 plus 42 units. 31 plus 42 is 73 units. So we are going to have 73 units on hand at 22 rents, comma 80, so we are going to see 73 units, 73 units times 22,80 is giving us 1664 rents, 40, yes, 40. And then in, on the 26th of September, we sold 14 units at 42 rents. We sold 14 units at 42 rents. So you can say 26. We sold 14 units. We are going to say 14 at 14 units at um what is it? 42 units at 14 units, not 42. 14 units at 42 rents. So um we are 14 units at 22,80 When doing our calculation we are going to say 14 times 22,80 is going to give us 319 rands and 20 cent On our balance on hand here we are going to say, say the 73 minus 40 73 minus 40 is equals to 59 units at at um the 22 rands comma 80 22 rands comma 80 for the calculation It's 
1345,20 cent at the end of the month at the end of the month we sold 22 32 units at 42 rands which is going to be at 22.80 we sold 32 units the 29 the end of the month we said it's going to say 32 units at um, at 22.80 just like that doing our calculations we are going to say 32 times 32 times 22.80 it's 729 rands 60 cent so for the balance on hand we have to say 59 units minus the 32 units that we have just sold right now which is going to give us 27 units on hand at um, 22.80 22 27 times 22.80 this is the balance at the end of the month so we are done with our weighted average method we are done with our weighted average method so we are done with our question 3 if you have any questions please drop them down on the comments da down below um, yeah I think we are done here please don't forget to subscribe like share and comment